Back here on Sportsline, getting ready for UFC Fight Night coming up this weekend at Bridgestone Arena. We're very excited about it. We have Ovid St. Pru, former UT football player turned MMA fighter, the number six light heavyweight contender in UFC. And Dustin Ortiz, currently the number 11 ranked flyweight, uh, but he's won six of his last eight bouts. He also, he's a striker and a submission specialist. So you're going to be taking on Ian McCall this weekend. What are your thoughts on him? What do, what, what do we need to know about him, and what are you going to do to him? So the first thing you need to know is Ian McCall is out. He, he, uh, he got injured. I don't know the, the specifics of oh, it. Oh, breaking news. We breaking have breaking news, news here on Sports Straight Line. from So you're not going to be source. taking on Ian McCall. Okay. No, he's out. Willie Gates stepped in. Okay. He's one and one in the UFC. Uh, I'm not taking the fight lightly. Right. You know, he's coming off a big uh, a knockout win first round. So he's, uh, he's taller. He's got a different game plan. And, uh, you know, I plan on going in there and doing what I do best and, you know, do what I do. So... Right. What uh, I mean, obviously you're looking to win, but are you also looking to, you know, I don't want to say put on a show, but you want to have an impressive performance in this in this fight, don't you? Yeah, I want to put on a show. Absolutely, <laughs> I want to put a stamp on it and say, hey, this is this is my town. You know what I mean? And, yeah. Uh, and and I need that. You know, I, I need a I need a finish in the UFC. I really am looking to to move up in the rankings, and and that was the unfortunate part about the Ian being able to pull out was he was number four. Mm -hmm. guy and a win over him would have been huge uh, he'd already handed me my first professional loss so it was a little bit and I was kind of in his hometown mm -hmm. so it was a little bit of I wanted that right you now know, you come get to my back. hometown absolutely and not, I'll show you how right. it's done a couple years later so uh, I was really looking forward to that but uh, this is also a great opportunity this guy's you know coming up and yeah. uh, he's working his way up looking to make a name and those are usually the most dangerous guys sure. so either either way I'm excited I'm gonna come in and do what I do still a very impressive 14 and 4 record in your MMA a career again mm -hmm. six of uh, your last eight bouts you've won six by knockout three by submission all right event oh Vince back to you Glover Teixeira what do we know about Glover Teixeira the guy you're going to be facing this weekend and what are you going to do to him um he's uh definitely a durable guy um former uh contender for the um um you know for the championship but you know Glover is good I mean to be quite honest he's good He's durable. He hits hard. Yeah. But the different thing about it, he never fought anybody like me. You know, within my weight class, I think I tell everybody, I'll, I'm like, look, when it comes to, like, pure knockout power, whether with your hands or your feet, I got it. So, you know, it's one of the guys that, you know, if you come walking towards me, he's going to get knocked out. If he sits back and waits, he's going to get knocked out. <laughs> either way, so, he's getting knocked yeah, out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so either way, he's getting knocked out. But, you know, he's one of the guys that – um you know, even though he's coming off, uh, you know, two losses and stuff like that, he's still one of the top fighters out there. Mm -hmm. I mean, he was, I mean, he fought the best of the best. And, you know, it's one of the situations where I can kind of solidify myself within two or five division. Mm -hmm. Depending on how I finish the fight, it's going to be good. You know, I'm the main event for a certain reason, and right. I'm going to make sure, you know. Uh, so you're I'm looking to put it on a show, too. Yeah, I'm definitely looking on to put on a show. When I mean, you're this close to getting that, you know, getting that title shot, I mean, I know you got to take it round by round, fight by fight. But do you do you have to keep yourself from looking too far ahead and just focusing on on the task at hand? I mean, you always want to focus on the task at hand, but I mean, you can you are human, so you're always going to try to look ahead. So I mean, I have looked ahead, but you know, this week primarily is me wearing my Glover because I know he's extremely worried about me. Right. You know, he's ext extremely aggressive, but you know, at the same time. You know, people that have been ag aggressive towards me actually uh, is bad, real bad. <laughs> now, you were telling me you were telling me earlier today at Titans practice that you can do a little bit of everything. I mean, do you, do you consider yourself having a you know a specialty? You know, is it jujitsu? Is it wrestling? Is it striking? Is it submission? Is it whatever whatever the day calls for? I mean, how Man, does, how does that work for you? I'm not a pure stand up fighter. I'm not a grappler. I'm not a jujitsu guy. I'm an MMA fighter, so okay. I'm not put everything together. Yeah. And the thing about me is, if you have if you watch any of my fights, all, all pretty much all the fights that I've won have been finished in some type of different fashion. Right. So, you know, I'm the type of fighter you basically look at and I'm pretty much unpredictable. And right now, since I've been with the UFC in 2013, I currently have the most finishes within the 205 division. Wow. 
Dustin, how did it start for you? How did you get into this incredible sport, mixed martial arts? <laughs> well, like I said, I wrestled all through middle school and high school, and uh, my two older brothers, they went into the military, and, and I usually followed in their footsteps, so that was kind of my plan right after high school. And I figured I'd take a year off, you know, work and, and get back in shape after wrestling season and, and move forward with that career. During that time, my buddy's like, hey, man, you should come up to the gym and, and work out. You know, you'd, you'd be good at it. You wrestled. And it's like, okay, I'm, I'm working, but, you know, I'll, I'll make time. And sure. uh, so I went in there and just started doing jujitsu, and I was, you know, I was really good at it with my wrestling base. And it just, it kind of started from there. They asked me, they said, I said, I want to fight, you know. I'm like, oh, you slow it down. Right, you know, right. we got those guys all the time. So, right, right. Uh, yeah, I just, I took a, a fight on two weeks' notice, and, and I won. And I was like, man, that got the adrenaline going, you know. Yeah. I, I love that you feeling. You got bitten so, by the bug, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And ever since then, I just, I haven't looked back, you know. It's just, I was like, okay, I, I want more, I want more. And kept training and kept training, and then, uh, one thing led to another, and now I'm 11th in the world and looking to be number one. I mean, uh, I'll ask you the same question. I mean, I know you, you got to be thinking about that title shot someday in, in, in the flyweight yeah. division. I mean, what what do you do to kind of just keep things on schedule, keep things on track, concentrate one training session at a time, one fight at a time? Mm -hmm. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Yeah, I think uh, I think it's important to be able to look at the big picture and, and see where you want to be and let that motivate you while also looking at, okay, I got this fight lined up, I need to focus on this, where it's going to put me in a win and a loss situation, um, and then really let that motivate you to win, to, to get to the next step, because right. in order to move up, you have to get those wins, and the opponents will come. So my first year in the UFC, I had five fights, and since my my last fight. Five and, uh, fights in one year? Five fights in one year. My and that's my goodness. style. I love it. I just didn't I've even had, slow down. I think down. I've been I in five fights going. in my life. I <laughs> lost every one of them, by the way. Yeah, so I prefer to, to go on that You like route. to stay busy. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. That's why I signed up. You know, that's why I'm here to fight. And Because uh, you can't fight forever. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, can't, you can only take those punishment, the the punches and the kicks and knockouts and, and train hard training sessions for so long. So... Uh, get in, get out, and that, that's kind of my attitude. And my last fight was November 22nd, and I kept calling, hey, I'm, I'm ready to fight, I'm ready to fight. Like, put me back in, and, and no word. So I just use that time to, to strengthen my mind and, mm -hmm. and prepare for this fight and be a, a smarter, more technical fighter. So uh, the, the toughness and the grit, that, that's all there. You know, it's natural for me. So really being smart about the business and the yeah. fight itself, I feel like will get me to that number one yeah, spot. Yeah, because you see so many promising fighters burn mm -hmm. out before their time. Oh, Vince, talk to me about your days playing football at UT. I mean, it's such a tradition there and, and uh, you know, the power tee and, and, and the checkerboards, uh, end zones oh, yeah. and the huge crowds clad in orange. What do you remember about those days? Uh, right now, goosebumps. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, it's just, you know, everything happens for a reason. You know, like I went there to play football. I had a great football experience. One of the probably, you know, biggest tradition football wise ever mm -hmm. it's just it's, it's crazy unbelievable like i'll tell people a lot of people a lot of fighters are like okay how it is playing football i said look you just need to come to a game yeah. and see it for yourself i went to my first game last year i covered the opener last year and as soon as i walked into place i got it yeah. Yeah. you know i got it i'm like okay i because i grew up in the northeast watching on tv and then i walked in there i'm like okay i get it this is tennessee this is the sec mm -hmm. this is why people are crazy so you know it's but but you know Playing football at UT got so much love. You know, even what I'm doing with mixed martial arts now. Yeah. You know, from the football program, just from like UT alumni, it's everywhere. I get pretty much hands down the best support ever. So, you know, with me, I tell the, you know, a lot of UT fans I have a certain treat for them when I want to come out fight night too. So, everybody got to. Yeah, they got. A, oh, you got a little spe something, something special planned when yeah. you when you, uh, when you uh, uh, well, we look forward to that. It's this weekend at Bridgestone Arena. We're gonna take another break. When we come back, we're gonna talk about just the growth of UFC, and I want to ask you guys about the biggest UFC star, maybe of all time, who's a female, Ronda Rousey, who keeps dominating, and what her future is. We'll get to that and your phone calls. Get these guys a call. They'd love to hear from you. We're back after this.